In this video, we're going to take a look at an introduction to logarithms. Now, in the previous couple of videos, we introduced the idea of the exponential function. And the inverse of an exponential function is what we call a logarithm. Okay, so how do we represent this? Well, if I've got log here, okay, that's how we represent this. And you might have seen this in your formula book. Then we need two extra things here. We need our base. So let's just say that's a in this case. So I've got log with base a of n. So the way we actually read this is log n base a. Okay. Now, if I just say this is equal to x for now, so that's equal to x, then this is equivalent to a to the power of x is equal to n. Okay. So what I'm thinking about here is what must I raise this power, um, or what must the power of a be here to give me n? Okay. So we think about a really basic example. Let's think about log 9. So log 9 base 3. Okay. So what must the power of 3 be here to give me 9? Well, nice and straightforward, that must simply be 3 squared, because 3 times 3 is 9. So in that case, log 9 base 3 is equal to 2 there. Okay, so that's how we represent logarithms, very basic. Um, and I know we're missing kind of the context here, what do we use, um, or what do we represent logarithms with here. Um, we're going to take a look at that in more detail in the next couple of videos. Um, but what I also want to introduce here is the laws of logarithms. So we can do a bit more with logarithms. And this is about combining logarithms. So if I've got log x here, so log x base a, and I add log y base a, then we can actually combine these as one single logarithm. And the reason for that is because they, they have the same base. Okay, they're both base a. So we can combine these as a single logarithm. In this case, what I'm going to get now is log xy. So log xy base a. Okay. Now, if we just times x and y together, and that gives our single logarithm. And we call this the multiplication law. Okay. The next law here that we need to be familiar with is log x base a. So log x base a minus log y base a. And this is equal to log of x over y of x over y base a. And again, we can do this because they share the same base. And this is the division law. And the final law here is what we call the power law. So if I've got log um, of x to the k, let's say, so x to the k, like so, base a, then we can bring this power down here in front of the logarithm, okay? That becomes k log x base a, okay? Like I said, that's what we call the power law. And there we have it. So that's our properties of um, or the laws of logarithms. So let's take a look at this question here now where we want to find the value of these logarithms without a calculator. So we've got log 16 base 4. So what we're thinking about here is what must the power of 4 be to give me 16? So these should hopefully be quite straightforward. So 4 to the power of something is equal to 16. Well, that must be 4 squared. Okay, so 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16. So in that case, log 16 base 4 is equal to 2 there. I've got log 125 here, base 5. So what must the power of 5 be to give me 125? So 5 to the power of something is 125. Well, again, hopefully nice and straightforward. That will just be 5 cubed, which gives us 125 there. Okay, so log 125 base 5 is equal to 3. For the next one here, We've got log 16 base 2. So what we're thinking about here now is what must the power of 2 be to give me 16? So 2 to the power of something is equal to 16. Well, that must be 2 to the power of 4 there. Okay. So in that case, log 16 base 2 is equal to 4. And for the final one here, we've got log 3 base 9. So what must the power of 9 be to give me 3? Okay. So what's this power here to give me 3? Well, notice that 3 is the square root of 9, so a must be here, the, um, or the power here of a is just simply a half. Okay, 9 to the power of a half is the same as the square root of 9, which would give me 3. Okay, so log 3 base 9 is equal to a half there. So I hope that wasn't too challenging. So all we were doing there was finding the value of logarithms without a calculator. And then finally, let's take a look at this question here, where all we want to do is write each part as a single logarithm. So for the first one here, we've got log 5 base 6 plus log 4 base 6. So how do we write these as a single logarithm? 
or because we're adding them and they have the same base, this will be the multiplication law. So what I've got here then is log of 5 times 4 base 6. In that case, what we get here is log 20 base 6. Okay, so that's our answer to part A. For part B here, well, there's two parts to this. We've got the 3 in front and the 2 in front here. So that means we need to make use of the power law. And we're also adding. So again, we're going to make use of the multiplication law. So if we take the power law into effect here first, so bring that 3 up in front here, or to the power here. So I've got log 3 to the power of 3, base 2, plus... So I bring this 2 now as a power here for the 4. I've got log 4 to the power of 2 to the base of 2 here. Okay. Simplify this here. So I'm going to get log 27. So log 27, 3 cubed is 27, base 2, plus log 16, base 2. So log 16, base 2. And because we're now adding here with the same base, then we can use the multiplication law, just like we did for part A here. So it's going to give me log of 27 times 16, base 2. Okay, so I'll just use a calculator here just to evaluate 27 times 16. 27 times 16 gives me 432, so I get log 432, base 2 there. Okay, and that's our solution to part B. For part C here, well, we've got log a base 10 minus log 2 base 10. So in this case, because we have the same base and we're subtracting, we can use the division law. So what this is going to give me here is log of a divided by 2 to the base of 10 here. Okay. Well, a divided by 2 is 4. So what I've got here is log 4 base 10. Okay. And that's our solution to C. So that's part A. This is part B, and this is part C. So then finally, let's take a look at part D here, where again, we need to make use now of the power law, because I've got this three here in front of my log room. So we do this underneath. Again, use the power law here, so this three now becomes um, the power for the four. So I've got log of four to the power of three to the base of seven here, minus log 16 base seven, okay? Well, 4 cubed is 64, so what I've got here then is log 64 base 7 minus log 16 base 7. And now because we're subtracting with the same base, we can use the division law. So now I've got the log of them of 64 over 16 base 7. Okay, 64 divided by 16, that would give me 4. So what I get here then is log 4 base 7 there. Okay, so log 4, base 7. And that's our solution to D. And that actually brings us to the end of this video on an introduction to logarithms. In the next video, we'll take a look at solving equations involving logarithms.